simplify the following expressions. Now, uh, one of our rules for exponents tells us that if we have a product to a power, we can raise each factor to the power. Similarly, if we have a quotient, a fraction, to a power, we raise, again, the numerator to the power and the denominator to the power. So if we look at this first exercise here, we have x to the third, y to the second, z to the fifth, to the fourth. I can write that as x to the third to the fourth, y to the second to the fourth, z to the fifth to the fourth. Now another rule for exponents tells us that if we take a power, so if we have x to the mth power, and we raise it to a power, we leave the base alone and we multiply the exponents. So that would give me x to the 3 times 4, y to the 2 times 4, z to the 5 times 4. Simplifying further, I would have x to the 12th, y to the 8th, z to the 20th. Exercise b is similar. I would have 6 to the 2nd, g to the 2nd to the 2nd, and h to the 5th to the 2nd. 6 to the 2nd is 36. g to the 2nd to the 2nd, multiplying exponents, gives you g to the 4th, and h to the 5th to the 2nd, multiplying exponents, gives h to the 10th. Now here we have a quotient to a power. So I would raise the numerator to the power and the denominator to the power. Then using the rule we've already talked about, I would raise each factor to a power. So I'd have 3 to the 3rd, a to the 4th to the 3rd, b to the 6th to the 3rd, over 5 to the 3rd, c to the 2nd to the 3rd. And simplifying gives 27, a to the 12th, b to the 18th, over 125, c to the 6th.